I'm happy to introduce Amy. Um, it's been so delightful uh, having uh, the ability to get to know her. Amy is one of the founding members of DAI, and uh, we're going to have Amy speak a few words. So Amy, please take it away. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, thank you for inviting me. I am an old um, person in DAI, uh, as old as Kate and John. Um, what I want to say today is a heartfelt uh, message um, from me as to what uh, DAI did for me. Uh, I am in the United States. Um, what I have done um, as far as politically act, um, actively, um, I have um, worked on the national level with the Alzheimer's Association as a um, national advisor. And I also currently work for the Association of Frontal Temporal Dementia. You all try to say that um, uh, as an advisor. Why is that important? Because DAI gave me the history and backbone to do that. I started way back when with Richard Taylor, whom many of you either knew or know of in a support group with him, uh, Kate and John were there also. And if someone else is here that was there, I apologize. What it did was make us people. Talking with Richard and sharing each other's lives from such different backgrounds and countries and, and everything, ages, we, had, we were a diverse group, gave us a human, dignity basis and mostly in my whole day, in my whole week, that was the only time that I had that kind of support. And we do a lot of talks about isolation and um, the like. This was my experience where I could be positive and feel good about myself was with these people. And, and my viewpoint is, that was the beginning of DAI. It was how people felt, how it made us feel that we could go on and do the work. Um, and I'm a way minor worker here, way minor compared to the others. I did state what I've done just because this, this was our background. Um, many of you know that Richard died. He died of cancer. Um, he was, he was a, a big influence for me as far as kindness. Um, uh, and I know my talk is disjointed because I have dementia. Um, I'm sorry about that. He, he did so much and then we had each other. And then let me tell you, we were people. We were people. We argued, we did everything people do in committees and um, became fast friends. Uh, people leave, people come. We were allowed to be people not people with dementia other than that was a, a fact, but mostly we were people. And I had the kind of support that, you know what, it saved my life a couple of times, being with that group, being with that group of people that were caring and loving and smart. I learned from them so much. Um, that's pretty much what I have to say. I have to, I'm telling you that this was born out of love and support and people uh, that got a heck of a lot out of it. And now they go on to be these leaders and these, these educators as, as many of you are now, um, out of that love and that support for each other. So thank you for asking me to talk. 